Hello, welcome back. We've got some really cool things for you today, and we're going to start with history. And Tina's got something really cool about history. What is that, Tina? This is the most interesting national day that I've ever read about. I'm going to read it on my phone because it's a little lengthy, but it's a great little story. It says, once upon a time, the beer lovers of the United States were very sad. Yeah. I'm sure they were. <laughs> yeah, after this. The government ratified the 18th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution in 1920. Yeah, when all these people think about the history of our, um, our world today, how yes. bad it is, listen to this. <laughs> Banning all intoxicating liquors in 1920 now, oh. including beer, beginning the period of American history we know now as the Prohibition. However, in 1933, the government saw the light and President Roosevelt ended Prohibition. The date was April 7th, so now we celebrate New Beer's Eve each year on April 6th. So grab a beer and toast to your ability to drink it. <laughs> so neat but I, I didn't realize we celebrated it you know? I didn't either I, I don't care for beer but oh, I'm either. very thankful that we don't have prohibition so I'll yeah. take it April so. 6th have a beer's Eve and if you drink beer have a beer that's that's right and so now you know there's no more prohibition and yeah, no more you have prohibition. the ability to get what you want so but you know when people talk about that I, I hear this a lot and they'll come in they'll say oh things are really bad and I always want to go back to those times and say let me talk about oh. you know especially women and what we've been through and with the whole women's history month I taught this in school even in science we have great women's history oh yes but what they went through to be able to, to get us there exactly That's, to accomplish yeah anything that they wanted to do it was it was jumping hurdles multiple hurdles and I just think that's so interesting because people will complain about today I mean, don't get me wrong I we, know we're not perfect right and we still have growing to do we do we have growing to do you know what this this really bothers me when we're talking to somebody or in a meeting and they say well that's the way it's been done for 30 years no, because now you have cell phones. If you want to do things like right. 30 years, then go back and put your phone on the wall. You know, I'm sorry. I'm a forward thinker. We have to either keep evolving or we die out. That's right. That's I right. I don't care what, if it's a business, if it's, if it's an organization, mm -hmm. if it's a person. If you do not evolve with your surroundings, you eventually die out or are snuffed out. Right. So, you know, if the business doesn't evolve, then other businesses come in right. and just they're gone. Well, I even had somebody so. say that I wish it was back like so and so when and I said so you would prefer <laughs> you know a ledger uh, at the bank and that means you can't just make a deposit anytime you know we just talked about this my granddaddy Bell owned the property and he would go with his money where he sold a car and walk yes. up to the door of the bank at five till three uh, yes and during that time the banks closed at three o'clock oh yes on the dot uh, no no time to wait either right. You know, you were you were done. That's what they talked about was bankers' hours, yeah. right? But you know, then if he brought in that money, then they would have to sit and make sure every line was on there. Where now we're just like, oh, QuickBooks. Oh yeah, it's okay. Hey, I'm enjoying that lifestyle. <laughs> Me too. I, I want my cell phone. Right. I want to be able to bank anytime I want to. Right. I don't. I don't want to do things the way we were done 30 mm -hmm. years ago. I really no. don't. I don't either. I don't want to go back. I'm no. happy. I'm happy moving forward. Yes. And, and I just hope that you guys recognize how wonderful we do have it. Yeah. And then as we keep evolving, you can see all the pleasures. Oh, yeah. I love it. Convenience. I, oh, I love convenience. <laughs> I'll tell you something I learned when I moved to the country uh, when I was in high school. Right. I had never seen maybe my grandmother, but she still even had a window unit. I know you're going to laugh at this, but because I was raised in the city, city as a child, I didn't know people didn't have air conditioning. And I can remember years later, my kids were grown. This was probably like four years ago. And we're sitting around talking and this lady said, yeah, you know, my kid used to come to your house all the time. And I said, yeah, I always had fun. We swam and everything. It's like, well, he actually came because we didn't have air conditioning. And of course, I was like, what? You didn't have air conditioning. I can't live without air conditioning. Uh, we, I did not have air conditioning or use it, even after I did have it, until my kids were in high school. 
And I do See, not, I did I not even know that that existed. I don't like air conditioning because it freezes me to death. Does it I, really? I can't handle it. I just I want the windows open. And when I, I close all the windows downstairs, open the windows upstairs so it creates a draft. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so nice. I mean, I do love a breeze. I really do. But it's just comical, you know, how we've always talked about you know, just different areas that right. you live in and some of the things and luxuries that right. you might have had. I mean... Oh, I'm afraid I'm old enough. I even know what an outhouse is. Well, I know what an outhouse is, but it's only because I went camping. <laughs> no, I wasn't camping. <laughs> No, it wasn't camping. And so, no. And I love the great outdoors. I 2 a.m., really do. you don't want to have to go to the bathroom. No, I don't want to if I have to go outside. <laughs> yeah, you did. Like I said, we're enjoying moving forward. That's right. For running forward. So, anything new coming on, you know, hopefully it'll be positive. But right. I thought that was interesting. And, and sometimes growing can be painful. It can sometimes. But it's it's necessary. It, it is. It really is. It's necessary to grow. No one's ever started. I mean, just if we wanted to go back even to the cell phone or, well, yeah. or, or the air conditioning, but no one ever just woke up one morning and said, I think I'll have <laughs> cool air coming through everyone's home. You know, that took a process. Right. And I'm appreciative of it. <laughs> it yes. But of course, it is painful because you got to pay the electric bill for that service. <laughs> I didn't ever so, think about that either. Yeah, I did. I was like, oh, I'm not paying for that. Just open the window. <laughs> I, I think I'll save this pincher. story, right? I'm, I'm going to save this. Should I save this next story? She can't do it. She'll say, she, just go ahead. Okay. <laughs> All of you that are watching this, if you show this to my husband, <laughs> he will laugh a lot, but I'm going to tell you this funny story. Speaking of raised in the city, yes. after I became married to my husband, we lived in a small house in, in town and the front door was broke and I could not figure out when the landlord or the management what are they called the maintenance man yes. was coming to fix it so it was like almost a month and I would say every Friday when is that person coming to fix the door and he would ignore me and so <laughs> I just thought that the maintenance man wasn't showing up, right? right? Well, it was about April, and if you all don't know, the taxes are due in January, but I had never had property taxes, so I'll make this a little bit shorter, but he comes in and he says, Tina, did you happen to get a little bill on those cards? You know how they have the cards for the taxes, and I said, yeah, I got that back in December, and I said, but I didn't think anything about it, and he said, well, that's property taxes, and I was like, Okay, still nothing. Okay, now please understand. It did not register. This was twenty some odd years ago, so don't judge me on it. But it is it is comical and funny to go through. So finally, he comes in and he says, "This bill," and I said, "No, I didn't pay that. <laughs> Why would I do that?" He said, "That's how we keep our house." And of course, the rest is history. You guys already know you have she to pay property taxes, and I still have my home. However, I truly did not know that that was a part of owning your property. Of course, my comment was, so you pay for a house, you don't have a maintenance man, and you pay even more money just to have the house on the property. And he said, yes. So, I never did get it in the beginning, and I still am not sure, but anyways. So. so she married the maintenance man and didn't know it. And that's what he said to me. He said, when we finally got to the end of that whole conversation, I said, so tell me, once we pay this bill, does that mean the maintenance man will show it? He said, I am the maintenance man. <laughs> what do you keep talking about this maintenance man? <laughs> Sorry, guys. had to interject that. She didn't I even just, know we were going to talk about oh, it. Oh, yeah, I did. I, I knew it was going to come up. <laughs> But it was oh. comical. <laughs> well, it it is, and there again, that brings us to teach your children, right? You know, nobody had told her about property taxes. Nobody had said anything about you know when you own your own home, you fix it or you pay someone right. to come do it. She was just used to it's broken. Pick up the phone. Hey, it's broken. Exactly. They come fix it. N not when you own your own home. But and that's true. And it is talk something. to your children. Talk to them about that, and you know, nowadays they don't necessarily have to balance a checkbook. Uh, no. But I did when I was a kid, so now you need to talk to them about what is a balance yes. of a checking account. Right. You know, maybe show them on the computer, and this is yes. how we get the deposits. Right. You know, there's a lot of gaps there. Oh, my. I mean, there were gaps as, as being raised up and brought right. up, you know, even though my family thinks I was raised up like a princess, but. <laughs> 
I still am. <laughs> yeah, she, she needs to stay that way. <laughs> now, when we're talking about talking to your kids about things, ancestors, you know, I don't know, with some people, they don't know who their great grandmother was or what right. she did. They don't know who their great grandfather was. My kids know quite a bit. They know all the way back to George Washington and a little further, but they all know that. They had one grandfather that played the fiddle at Mumfordville at every barn raising. They would put up a barn, and then he would get out his fiddle, and they would play until no telling what time during the night and dance and all that, you know. And then Abraham Lincoln is our 16th cousin, is mine. So my grandsons would be 18th cousin to Abraham Lincoln. They know these things, but I think it's sad when kids go, I don't know who my relatives are. I don't know anybody. Well, they need to know those stories. You know, what did they do? Who was an attorney? Who was... How did the prohibition affect the, your, yeah, yeah, your their ancestors? Well, my grandfather and uncle weren't affected by it too much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think my family was either. No, no, no. Actually, I'll tell you a story. My grandfather and my uncle actually learned how to race because they delivered certain products that they made. Oh, that's <laughs> so they would race um, down in Mumfordville around there. There's an actual racetrack that was there. And on one end of it, it's just a cliff. So if you go off, you, you really go off bad. So they would actually deliver their products and... On the weekend, they'd go to the racetrack, and they would race all weekend long, and they they loved it, just loved it. But most people don't know that we have we have some skeletons in our closet. Although they thought they were very proud of the fact right. of what they did. It's so, funny. Yeah, you talk to them about it. Show those pictures, and yeah, talk to the people about what's going, or your kids and your right. grandchildren about what's going on. Get you that know. box out of the closet. Right. You know, and, and just go through it with your grandkids and, and just tell them who these people are and where you were at the time and what you were doing. I mean, you know, they just... You wouldn't believe how fun it is to talk. I mean, just us yeah. talking about when I tell stories of my life, you know, to my children and their adult children now, yeah. and they get so tickled. This is that story <laughs> I told you, you know, and, and we go back, we talk about, you know, where was our family in the Prohibition yes. or where was our family Civil during War. the Depression? Uh, yeah. You know, and what struggles did they go through or not go through? Right. I know I learned really fast when we did move to the country and I lived with my grandmother for a little while on the farm that farm people didn't feel the same effects. They felt the effects, but they didn't feel the same because they raised so the, much food. And yes, they had their own crops, so they were able to actually eat. Where and in I thought the city, that was interesting. You had more of an impact because you right. weren't raising your own food. So Yeah, and I was I think all those stories, I mean, I still have people come to me today and ask me what my grandmother Violet told me, you know, well, what about this? Or do you have this information? Or, right. you know, and the beautiful pictures. Oh, yeah. Some of them are really awesome. Right, right. You know, and, and I, there's some of my grandparents that are relatives that I would have not have a clue what they look like. And then when I look back and I'm like, well, that's, that's me. I mean, I look just like some of them. So I know where I came from. You know, oh, that's so, interesting. My yeah. dad has been on a wonderful adventure with Ancestry, and I'm not oh, sure. Yeah. I'm not sure what company. I'm not supporting a company, but it is interesting because he comes up with new information. His genealogy. Yes. So his he's whole, doing his genealogy. All of his background. He's even found a cemetery uh, from way back in the 1800s that was the Kelly Cemetery. Oh, neat. And it's super interesting to hear. And I've been out there with him, and it's absolutely beautiful. Oh. And it was hidden. And now, it was where all is grown it? Up. It's in Henry County, but it's uh, one of those roads going down by the river. Oh, I do know where you're talking okay. about. The Kelly okay. Cemetery. Yeah, there used to be other things that happened at the cemetery. Oh. <laughs> okay. High school kids That's enjoy... That's a moment. <laughs> high school kids enjoy the cemetery. She's from Henry County. Yeah, I am. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that one going. I'm going to laugh about that one, too. <laughs> so, well, they enjoyed things I didn't, but, you know, we'd be a big group of us there, so... <laughs> okay, they're not doing that now, but... No. <laughs> We're grown now. We don't need to do it now. So. so, did you have a good happy birthday? Yes, I did. Sorry, I had to bring it up. This woman, man, I'm telling you, have you ever had a progressive birthday party? If you have not never planned one either. If, if you have not, somebody needs to plan one for you because I get up and I have all these things I have to do, and she says, "I need you here at 11." And I'm like, "Well, I don't know what." It, she says, "It's important." I'm like, "Okay, I'll rearrange my schedule." So I rearrange my schedule and I get there at 11. 
Well, no, actually, I got there late because my meeting was yeah, late. Yeah, it was, it was 1230. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Just remember that when you're scheduling a progressive birthday, just make sure you know that they're usually either close to being on time. Yeah. <laughs> she was fine. But anyway, I get there, and she has me go to, I had to go to Poppy's Grocery Store. I had to go to Brenda's Tax Service. I had to go to the Boys and Girls Club, <laughs> the judge's office. Where else did you make me go? Mm. She had she had all these things for me to do. Well, well, by the third one, I got. I mean, I know now what's going on. By the third <laughs> one, and I'm like, oh, so at the next one, that's probably what's going to happen. Right. You know, so I knew what was going on after that. But the first two it was like, what? You know, but it was really cool. It was really really cool. I walked into the boys and girls club, and they're like. You're early, and I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm always 15 minutes early. She's like, no, no, you're not supposed to be here till three. And I Except said, for well, me, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just I said, well, kidding. I'll go sit in the office then until till whatever it is, till the meeting starts. And she goes, oh, okay. So I go in the office and sit down. And I'm working on other stuff, and then Brandy goes, okay, you can come here. We're getting ready to start. And I'm like, okay, but I don't see any adults. It's only kids. What's going on? The kids sing happy birthday to me, which was wonderful. The Light White Boys and Girls Club, thank you very much for the kids singing happy birthday. And so. and her beautiful daughter cooked for her on Sunday. Yeah. Yes. to kick it off for me so she had we had talked about it and she would had already planned it and I said well you know make sure the girls have something so they they cooked for you or yeah. cooked with you didn't they, they? Did. they did it was wonderful so we started Sunday night and then Monday morning I, I had not I didn't think anything about it you know <laughs> of course my kids should do something but Sunday night was dinner and then Monday morning I get a call and I have to be at her office by 11 <laughs> So I'm they'd trying. already planned it. We so were just trying. I was just trying to make sure that they had the right schedule. It was a fun day, and but I was. knew there was no possible way <laughs> to get all of those people from all of these different organizations in one spot. Right. So everybody that chipped in right now, I just want to say thank you, and thank you, Amanda, for starting off your mom's 60th birthday. Yes, I, I loved it. You all. Oh, and Everyone. Anastasia. We got a we got a shout oh, out to Anastasia yeah. and Penelope. Right. Yes. Yes. They are amazing. They're, they're so cool. <laughs> but it was it was wonderful. I appreciated everything everybody did. The happy birthdays, the gifts, the cards, all of it. Oh, Fountain Building. I had to be here at the Fountain right. Building. Yep. Bob Courtney, he just <laughs> jumped right in there and him and his wife, they yep. were wonderful. They had stuff ready for me. So it was it was great. It was uh I'd never had that before, so just so you know, it was a first time for me to have a progressive <laughs> birthday party, but I'm going to tell y'all, it's awesome. So if you have a friend that, you know, you want to do something different, tell them they need to spend the day with you on a certain day, and then just send them everywhere. But don't feel bad if you don't have as many groups as she does, because <laughs> I don't have that many groups. I was like, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> So that's how we ended up with the progressive one. Yes. And then plus the ones that she didn't plan, but they called and I had to go by there. So yeah. that was great. So. And I, I want, I just really appreciate all of you guys, Miss Brenda, everybody. I mean, I don't even know if I can name them all, but they I know were I wonderful. I can't remember I'm everybody. afraid I'm going to forget somebody. So we're going to move on. But happy birthday. Thank you. Know? you. Thank she you. She didn't want it announced. She didn't even no. have it on her Facebook. <laughs> I had to make sure I had the right day and everything. <laughs> just made no, me work a little more. It's just, it doesn't, I'm not like most people. Birthdays don't, I don't know, they're not that. Oh, I'm a birthday I, hog. I like my birthday to know, okay, now what did I do last year? What did I accomplish? Did I, oh, wow, I did really good last year. Now let's see if I can do better this year. So I'm one of those, I'm a goal setter and mm -hmm. I have, I have a list. <laughs> That's how I determine whether I've had a good day. I have a week. <laughs> I don't have a list. I have a week of a birthday. We start on the first part. And oh, my We just goodness. keep celebrating. Wow. Well, you know, my grandmother always said, I remember I was at a funeral home one time, and there weren't very many people at the funeral home. And I was like, where is everybody, grandmother? And she goes, she patted me on the leg, and she said, sweetheart, you are not judged in life by how much you love others, but by how much others love you. And then she folded her hands and just looked forward, and I thought, oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've never... Okay. So, <laughs> I learned at a very young age, you have to put back into life. That's funny. You know, you, you, do. you have to. And if you don't, who's going to talk to you when you get old, when you, when you quit work? If you right. have friends that you know, you need to think about those things. Did you, did you create relationships that are going to last till you're 125? And it is difficult. I mean, we've talked about this yes. a great deal on this show. I mean, when you've worked... 
uh, all your life yeah. and then you're home and I, I experienced that with my accident it was yes. like where did everybody go where did life go right you know and and you're not able to catch yes. up you can't keep running fast enough maybe you're down right. and out and you know so it is good to develop great friendships Re relationships. and relationships and, throughout your life and that comes from other than this oh yes you texting everybody and Facebook and all that that's great to kind of keep up but that does not create a relationship that when you're when you're down or you're sad or you're you're hurt or whatever that they're going to come by your house right you know, did you create a relationship that's going to last exactly even when you retire that's I agree yeah you know so, and most of us are doing that but yeah not everybody I guess well I don't think people we want you to be happy it's not that they don't they they don't realize that okay when I quit work who from here Am I going to go to dinner right. with? Who from here am I going to go do this or that with? Well, if you haven't already done it, it's not going to happen. Right. So while you're young, create those relationships that will last when you get old. Which is so. moving right into Live Love's topic That's today. That's right. We're going to talk about examples. You know, Miss Debbie talked about the last time that we recorded about being the example grandparent. Yeah. And then I've talked That's about a in a relationships and being the example. What do you want out of that relationship? Right. How do you want that example? Well, it's become very obvious to me <laughs> lately when I'm dealing with properties and wonderful people that maybe just don't have the same value of cleaning up their property. Or they, they don't have the resources that they need right or they, they don't know of the resources and that I think that's the main thing they don't know about the resources available mm -hmm. maybe they could so, it could be that um whatever it might thing. be in mm -hmm. that situation is being the example so yes for the way I'm pulling this together is think about in life whatever it is that you don't necessarily like so for yeah. an example maybe you don't like something that your spouse or your loved one is doing right. then how could they be better how could you be an example to show them so all of us have tried this before when you go you did this and oh, you did that and you did this don't do that <laughs> and all that does is create more resistance and yeah. if you haven't heard this resist it persist but when you allow and you're the example, it, it comes back to you. It's like what goes around comes around. That's right. So when you're the example, when you see your loved one and you say, you look so good today. Oh, man, I'm glad to see you. Or, you know, give them a hug and just say yeah. some, be what you want and watch them evolve and come right. into that. Right. So be the example. And, and that's in anything. And when I talk about the cleaning up is if you want your neighbor to clean up, no, I don't think you should clean up your neighbor's yard, right. but you show them what you would like to see. You know, what is the example? So they can say, oh, I really like that yard. You know, but if you're standing and you're blaming on one side and you have a whole bunch of stuff in the back, oh, it's, that you, doesn't, you're that just doesn't creating work. strife. Right. And it works. This is in your life in any mm -hmm. relationship, not just love, but yeah. all of them, any of your acquaintances, children especially, everybody knows they follow. Yes. They follow what they see and they become adults oh, and yes. do that. Because they imitate what they've learned. They do. They do. I mean, yeah. there's times when my kids do things and they're adults and I go, Oh my goodness. <laughs> that came from me. I'm not sure that was the good one. Maybe, yeah, well, maybe I should change another. And I e immediately start to look at a better solution, a right. better way that I can react. Yes. Because when I was young, oh, were you kind of hot headed when you were young? <clears throat> when I was really, in high school, yes. But not as a By parent. By the time I was a senior, no, no, not as a parent, no. <laughs> and I tried to never yell at my kids. I because if I yell at them, if you yell at your kids, they don't listen anymore. Right. So I would always talk softly. Mm -hmm. And if I would say it once, I would repeat it the second time. And the third time I just walked in and said, um, there's no dessert for you tonight <laughs> after dinner because this is not cleaned up. And I would turn and walk away. And, and that and probably worked. <laughs> nobody got to get up from the table until everybody was finished. So whoever didn't do their chores, they had to sit and watch us eat dessert. Oh, wow. Worked every time. I had moments where I was not hot-headed, like I didn't have a bad temper, but I just remember it, frustrations. Oh, yeah. You know, as a, a 20s, when uh, I was in my 20s, I yeah. was just... 
yeah. you know, react. Yes. And I constantly would react. And now I always step back, back and, think. and evaluate. Yes, I evaluate and think, no, wait a minute. How are they acting that way because of me? And usually they were. Well, now that's what I did. I would send the kids to their room. Right. I'd say, okay, you did such and such, go to your room. I've exactly. got to think about it. Because I knew if I grounded them at the time, they'd be grounded for six years instead of six <laughs> days or something, you know. So that I'm, moment you had to yeah. think. <laughs> so I'd send them to the room, and then after dinner, then I would tell them what their punishment was. Yeah. That would give me from 3 o'clock or 3.30 when they got home until after dinner about 7 to think Mm -hmm. And not punish not them. Not react. Not lock them in the room until they were thirty. <laughs> right. So. Right. Even though there were times everybody wants yeah, to. Yeah, there were times I wanted to. Oh yeah. <laughs> so be the example. Whatever it is you want to see in your life, yeah. start implementing that, and then you, before long, you'll start seeing other oh, yeah. people follow you. They really oh, yeah. do. Be the example of being happy. Well, now that brings us to something else. You know, we were talking about knowing the stuff, you know, as far as cleaning up your yard and things like that. What is What are the rules in your, in your area? Definitely. And with a lot of things, like the historical place here in Madison, Indiana, mm -hmm. with um, the cities in here in Trimble County, there's things that you need to know. If you're buying a piece of property, what are the requirements for that? Because I know some historical properties, you can buy them, but you can't maintain them. You can't do any work on them. Or you you can't add on to them. Right. No you, color paint. Uh, no color paints. paint. You know, so before you buy something, you need to check to see what the ordinances are right. in that area. And you might be fine with whatever it is with that building. And you say, I don't care. I want to buy it anyway. But there might be things you were thinking about doing, your, and you can't. And you're thinking, oh, right. I, I don't want to buy that building now. So just check out your ordinances. And where do you go for that? Exactly. Where so you, you can go to the courthouse, go yeah. to the judge's office, yeah. talk to your PV, local PVA officers, yes. they're your property evaluation Building inspectors. Yes. They can tell you where you, to go. Before you purchase, check into yes. everything. Yes. You know, I know that you know, we have bought on mainly family land here, right. but when we were in LA, there were things... <laughs> That's Again, crazy. here we go, back to yeah. the difference in the city and the country, but yeah. truly, it wasn't even that much of a difference. It was more of, I would drive past a place, so we would choose right. a location, and then I would drive past it at all times of night and day. day. That's another thing, you know, is check your ordinances, but also check how they enforce them. <laughs> Because you can have all kinds of ordinances that yeah. if there's not someone in place that actually enforces That's them, then you could end up next to a neighbor that you really wish you hadn't have been. Yes. And, you know, that's in apartments and housing, if yeah. you're in the city, if you're in a, a small community, wherever. Oh, yeah. But Kids, when you get ready to move out, definitely you, you need to do these things. Rewinding back to that, you know, learning something yeah. new. You'll always have a learning curve. Yes. But you, there are things that will make it easier for you, like your cell phones and right. your computers, but know certain people in your area yeah. to help you. Big and one. your resources. Oh, yeah. Another thing is the resources. She's correct. I mean, a lot of people look at me and say, well, where can I get a dumpster? Or what well, do I need to right. do for this? Or how do I talk to this person? And we're constantly detouring yes. or redirecting someone to somebody else. Yeah, don't ever think your issue is you're just there with that issue and there's no way out. Don't right. ever think that. Ask. Especially make sure you ask. in our region. <laughs> yeah. I know I harp on this, <laughs> but I'm going to tell it to you again. Listen, I've been in this new position, my day job. I have multiple night too. But <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love them all. Uh, but this is interesting to me. I've lived quite a few places in this area in Kentucky as right. well as in Kansas. And then I've traveled quite a bit. I've never found nicer people. And I say yes. it every time. I said it during the parade, during yeah. the Madison Regatta Parade. And when you drive into this community, yeah. it's precious. Madison, yeah. Trimble County, Carroll County, Henry, all of our area. Yeah. These people are kind even the ones that you think maybe wouldn't be <laughs> they really are and i say it to her almost every week I, i'll say you know debbie i i just have to say these are the nicest people i found all around the world right and that's why a lot of people move into our area it is so. it's just a great place i mean we're a little quirky and sometimes we have people like me that move in and forget that you have a property or i didn't forget i just didn't know but 
I still had somebody to help me. Right. You know, nobody came to my door and kicked me out of my house at that time. Right. I mean, I was 22 right. years old. And it was just, it's still, it's just a great community. I know, I love it. I, I get all it. sappy about it. She does, she does. So let's move on. Oh, let's move we're, on. We're going to move on to some of the events that we have going on that we're involved with. And um, one of them is we have partnered with the Light White Boys and Girls Club for advanced media classes. And those are going to start in Trimble County. They'll be starting on April the 11th. All the paperwork should be going home this week and needs to come back by next week. And then we have spring break. So now that's going to be really cool. We have WLKY coming in. We have WRX. We have Kentucky Anna News coming in. We have Evolve um, Models and Talents coming in. Yes. We have also Governor Bevan's office has some of their people are going to be coming in and talking. Um, it's just, I don't know who else. There's more that are going to be doing it. And how long is this class? This this one will be six weeks. Six weeks now, after spring break. Yeah, after spring break. We're going to do this one for six weeks, and then we'll do another one. So they'll be, they'll be continuous. It just may be we need a break for a week or two, and then we start again. Or right. we need a break for a week or something. Or maybe, now we talked about maybe a summer course, but then We're thinking about in. a summer course, okay. but that one would be strictly at the Boys and Girls Club. We would meet okay. there, and then we would also meet meet at the studio at 402 West Main because we can control everything in there and okay. do a little more but the ki there's some things we can do where the kids can do history right in the counties both the counties and we can take care of stuff like that so I'm really excited about that so I think if it's you've wonderful. ever wanted to be a youtuber the weather lady or man yes we have meteorologists coming right. in I didn't journalist yep. um, any of those fields you know, come and talk to us yeah. about signing up for this class. It's right. probably, you know, it's just amazing. It, it is. It is amazing. I, I am surprised. I mean, I, everybody I work with that, that we are connected to in some way, they are wonderful people. But every time I ask, can you, and they say yes, it just floors me that they always say yes. Right. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm very so convincing. She gets so excited. She always comes to me and says, <laughs> somebody else said yes. So we are so, very excited about yes. this media opportunity. Right. And for you guys, we want you to have this opportunity right. as well we, we have graphic design we have I learn something every day <laughs> yes we have writing you know you got to learn how to write an article whether you are putting it on paper or whether you are actually reading it you've got to be able to write it in an appropriate way right. in an accurate way and that's going to be a biggie we're we're sticklers about being accurate but uh, you know we've got meteorologists we have reporters we have graphic design um, multimedia marketing we have web design I, I, there's just the whole thing that's going to be available to our kids so we're, we're very and excited. And different destinations. Yes. It's just going to be, it's it's a great class. Yep. It's our, The curriculum's put together and it's a wonderful class. Yeah. I'm yeah. excited about it. I am it. too. I'm, I'm ready to start like three or four weeks ago, but I couldn't. So <laughs> yeah, she anyway. keeps saying, today. I want to start oh, today. I, I did. can't do that yet. <laughs> so anyway, we got it going on. And it'll be at the Trimble County Board Office for these six classes. And then, like I said, the, later on when we do them, we'll be Boys and Girls Club in here. And then we might do it in school again. And I think it's going to be a big oh, adventure for all of us. She knows it is. I know, I know it is. <laughs> it's going to be so, so much fun. And then you've got a big event Clean going on. Up it's week. a national. It is. It's actually this coming, well, I think it's a couple of weeks from now or this coming week. It's the week of? The 23rd through the 30th. Of? If, of March. Of March. And it is Kentucky Cleanup Week. Right. But it's also this month and going into April, you'll have National right. Cleanup Weeks. And right. you can type them in Google. <laughs> I Google everything. But uh, you can type them in. And it's just cleaning up your area, you know? Yeah. Cleaning up your community. Yeah. We're doing a community-wide sweep. Oh. And our nonprofits are earning are a little. And yes. maybe you know, to help them with camp or whatever. But they're cleaning up roads. Now, with Kentucky, with Trimble County, is there any area of the county that needs another group to volunteer to help clean up? For this cleanup, we're okay. We have okay. maybe a couple of people that might, um, a couple of slots are uh, county roads. What we're mainly looking for, though, is anybody that would like to adopt a highway. Right. In the state of Kentucky. And that means you clean it up all the time. Mm-hmm. Even, hopefully we can get those people to stop throwing things out. Right, right. That is the yeah. ultimate goal is to stop littering. And if we catch you, it's what, 
five hundred dollars. It's I mean, pretty it's, big. It's a big hefty fine. Yeah, and I do know um, some illegal dumps in the area. There will be cameras in the future, so you there's need already to, some. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, there is. I wouldn't go, but yeah, yeah, there's um, already people watching you. So when you dump in these illegal places or anywhere really, it's you're it going to be caught eventually, right. and those fines are much higher because of the amount of litter you're putting out. So you're going to have to, you know, take it to the landfill. If you live in Trimble County, it's free. It's free. In Trimble County, if you have a license. Here's the guidelines. Your license, your truck. Drive it to the landfill, they'll take it. That's right. Needs to be your personal residential trash does not need to be a business uh, right. as far as that goes don't right. don't come in with a construction company and no. think that we're going to dump there but <laughs> no, residential that, that trash residential yeah. trash if you have bags of trash put them in the back of your right. truck put them in your trunk i don't care right. where you put them and exactly them. And, and if you have issues like she was talking about she does the solid waste management in trimble county if you have an issue with your property and it needs to be cleaned up the landfill is free right if you need trash bags Somebody, one of us, will make sure you have trash bags, and then you just it take out. it. Yeah, we'll we'll make it happen. Ask for help. <laughs> Ask for help. It'll happen. It'll happen. Yep. It will. But like I said, it is free to go to the landfill to take your trash there. You just drive up, weigh in, drive right. back there, put it in the big dumpster, drive out. You're done. So no reason. No, we want it to be staying beautiful. Yeah. We love it. But if you know it's beautiful already, we just want and it to be sometimes more it's a fixed income person. Sure. And they can't afford the trash to be picked up, but that's still not a reason to keep it. Right. The landfill is free. Call somebody. Put it in your car or call somebody to come get it and take it to the mm -hmm. landfill. You mm -hmm. gotta. Too many things follow that trash. Exactly. Or live in it. So, yeah. That is the truth. Well, moving <laughs> on, yep. we're gonna just tell you a little bit. So, I do have a new company that is called Evolve Models and Talent, and several people have asked me, so what is it, or what are we doing, and just give me a call and we'll talk about it, because it is an innovative company, truly. Yeah. We, we are discovering new opportunities for you. So it's not going to be necessarily brick and mortar building. It and doesn't even need to be. Right. We right. want to evolve around right. the world. We want to right. go into a new direction and we're super excited about it. So keep on the lookout. We'll talk about it as, a little bit as we go. That's right. So if you want to get in touch with her, make sure you call what number? 502 693 5534. Awesome. And then the next thing on our list is parks. We, we have some amazing parks in our region, and if you haven't gone to one of them, there's going to be a um, waterfall hike this weekend at the Clifty, Clifty Falls. Falls. Oh, yeah, waterfall that. hike there, and there's also going to be the railroad track hike in Clifty Falls. So there's, now I'm not saying you have to go to Clifty Falls, but those two things I know are going on. Butler Park has events going mm -hmm. on, and then there's, there's some parks going towards Louisville. You know, most of the parks are within 30 minutes of you that you could access very easily. So I think it would be really cool. And get out there and have fun. Yeah. Get Plan away. to have fun. You know, <laughs> on her list of schedules, I always say, where's the fun line? So you want to plan to have fun. So plan to go to the park one yeah. day when it's beautiful and you can't think of anything else to do. Yeah, just get out there. I mean, it's and okay to clean. It's okay to clean your house, but it's more uh, fun to go to the park. It is, it is, <laughs> it is. And, and your grandkids, take your grandkids, mm -hmm. you know, just have a ball. Oh, like I always say, when anytime I was coaching, I always tell people, people always remember, especially your kids and grandchildren, yes. they will remember what you did with them before they will ever remember what you told them. So yes. get out there and do something fun, you know, enjoy yeah. that and make that impression and be the example. <laughs> I think my new word this week is example. <laughs> well, I think with all the things we've had going on the last right. week or so, it's like, whoa. <laughs> I'm going to be a better example. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've had some pretty crazy things happen to us the last couple of weeks. But that's okay because, like I said, we, we're growing too. Oh, yes. You know, we learn to evolve more than one way. Not just that's the, her word today. <laughs> just not the model of the talents, but we need our communities to evolve and to actually grow. And I think, yes. that's, I think that's really important so that we I, can remain i i agree well, yeah we don't want to end up enjoy the beauty we don't want to be extinct nope no not at all so, we're not going to be we're loud um, yeah, <laughs> yeah some people aren't like us so you just tell us and we'll help you we'll, we'll be right. we'll be the voice <laughs> but if you have an issue or if you have a neat thing for us to go see 
let us know well, we're going to start going out places um, we've already got one and some of that is um, well I don't want to tell it no but anyway we've got some things we're going to do outside of the office and I think y'all are going to love them I mean we've already had people ask to go see these things so we're going to go do that for you and do some interviewing so you don't have to just listen to us even though we know you love to listen <laughs> to us we're going to add some new people and yeah. we're excited about that yeah, I think, going I think and see great. them in their environment yeah. and I guess you guys could tell we are super excited it is spring oh I love are it. you so happy I am but I'm afraid it's gonna get cold again I'm like that's okay though I can why it. would she even bring it up I don't know <laughs> I just kind of like waiting for the other shoe to drop like it'll only be for a little while yeah <laughs> then it'll be back not long so don't be forget to check out KentuckyAnnaNews.com yeah. and look at our beautiful cam webcam up there right yes, yeah our, our weather webcam. cam weather cam and make sure you check out the weather from WLKY we appreciate them so much yeah. Jay Cardosi and his staff do an amazing they job do. we meet with them every Tuesday and uh, they they put together some really great stuff so it's pretty amazing yeah we love As it always we thank you for watching Watching. We hope you enjoy it. And anytime you want to, just give us some comments. We'd love to yeah. love to hear what you think, and maybe even if you have some great ideas, because yes. we're always wanting to entertain you. And hopefully, our sponsors will be entertained as well. Right now, so if you want to get in touch with us, make sure you call 502-221-6068. And as always, we thank you for watching. <laughs>